Elon Musk just declared Starship is getting ready for the next flight after 33 Raptor engine firing. Let's find out everything about this and more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. SpaceX is racing towards conducting its Starship rocket's highly anticipated test flight. After the impressive static fire test of Booster 9 on August 26th, Elon subsequently shared a radiant picture of the Super Heavy with a statement affirming getting ready for next Starship flight. This confirmation from the head of the renowned spaceflight company is undeniably exhilarating. With over a thousand changes and upgrades in preparation for the second Starship rocket launch, it appears that Elon Musk is quite satisfied with the results. His expectations entail SpaceX investing approximately $2 billion in Starship rocket development in 2023 coupled with the plans to launch 100 spacecraft this year. So how prepared is SpaceX for the upcoming flight? First and foremost is the near-perfect completion of Booster 9 and Ship 25. Booster 9 and Ship 25, two integral components of SpaceX's groundbreaking Starship product, are now poised to be on the cusp of a highly anticipated milestone as they're presumed to have completed all the essential pre-flight tests for their upcoming mission. Booster 9, for the first time, went through an igniter test for the Raptor engine, followed by a trial of the FireX detonation suppression system. The grid fins were also set in motion to assess their flexibility. After this, the booster was partially filled before conducting a brief spin prime test of its engines. This test brings the turbo pumps up to speed and allows few to flow, but it doesn't involve ignition in any way. The most recent development came in the form of a flawless static fire test conducted on Booster 9, during which all 33 Raptors, the powerful engines that drive the massive spacecraft, ignited seamlessly. This test not only demonstrated the exceptional performance of the engines, but also confirmed the viability of the associated systems under the intense conditions of launch. Notably, only two engines experienced a premature shutdown, a minor issue that wouldn't have jeopardized an actual launch, provided no more than one additional engine had shut down during ascent. There have been some concerns regarding the static fire process in the final stages, as the flames from the engines weakened, which was initially attributed to the shutdown of two engines, but it wasn't the case. SpaceX tweeted that the test produced approximately 7.9 million pounds of thrust, or about 3,600 metric tons, quite a substantial amount. Despite this impressive power, the operation only utilized about 48% of its maximum capability. The highest throttle setting would result in 7,590 metric tons of thrust, which surpasses the capacity of the launch pad's clamps, leading to the booster undergoing a throttle down process during the execution of the static fire. So, what comes after the static fire? Certainly, we can anticipate a comprehensive integration of Booster 9 and Ship 25 this week. Meanwhile, Ship 25 is also not idle. Ship 25's recent transformation has garnered attention, marked by the removal of crane attachment points. The removal of these attachment points serves a specific purpose, to accommodate the placement of thermal protection system, or TPS, tiles that'll shield Ship 25 during its re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. This meticulous process underscores SpaceX's commitment to ensuring every aspect of the ship is optimized for safety and performance. As TPS tiles cover the belly of the vessel, the ship's exterior evolves into a carefully engineered shield, ensuring its safety with unwavering certainty. The Starship launch pad is now also prepared for its second flight. Previously, the exhaust from the Raptor engines of Super Heavy had eroded the base of the concrete pad. To reinforce the structure, SpaceX has added approximately 1,000 cubic meters of high-strength concrete that's been steel-reinforced. Moreover, a steel sandwich configuration featuring water channels has been implemented. This unique upside-down showerhead design is intended to withstand the intense heat generated by the booster during launch. Remarkably, this system was developed and put to test just three months after its conception. To support this, Elon has bolstered a considerable fleet of water-carrying vehicles to ensure an ample water supply for the deluge system. The deluge tanks, designed to hold substantial volumes of water, are a fundamental component of the launch infrastructure. 
They serve as a primary line of defense, ready to unleash a powerful torrent of water during launch proceedings. Once the deluge tanks were replenished, a pivotal assessment followed, the rigorous testing of the deluge system itself. As the orbital launch integration tower stands sentinel, the deluge system is put through its paces. A robust spray of water is released with controlled force, simulating the conditions of a live launch. The test also took place in conjunction with Booster 9 ignition, and the results of the effectiveness of the deluge system have demonstrated the readiness of the launch pad and its resilience against the fierce thrust of Starship, which is extremely promising compared to what's happened in the past. But that's not all that SpaceX has done. While the significance of the second launch attempt is undeniable, they've also concurrently accelerated their production timeline to create additional prototypes and be ready for launch shortly after Starship 25 and Booster 9 take flight. Ship 28 has taken center stage as it undergoes meticulous preparation for its upcoming tests. Significantly, this spaceship is currently undergoing the installation of vacuum-optimized Raptor engines. These specialized engines are designed to operate efficiently in the vacuum of space. They appear significantly distinct from the previous Christmas tree design, adopting a cleaner and more aesthetically pleasing engine layout. This transition underscores SpaceX's ceaseless pursuit of innovation. And if our speculation holds, Ship 28 is likely to be a vessel that embodies even greater advancements compared to Ship 25. Next is the Starship 30, which has reached a significant milestone as its stacking phase is complete. The completion of the stacking process marks a pivotal step forward in the assembly of this cutting-edge spacecraft. However, the installation of specialized flaps to govern its movement and orientation during different flight stages is still pending. These flaps enable precise navigation and re-entry maneuvers. Moreover, the engines, a pivotal component of any spacecraft's propulsion system, have yet to be integrated. These engines will provide the thrust necessary for Starship 30 to traverse the depths of space. In addition, SpaceX is also focusing on manufacturing infrastructure. They've taken down the long-standing mid-bay facility. This pivotal structure, which had played a central role in the Starship construction process, while the removal of the base signals the end of an era, it brings with it a new perspective. The absence of the mid-bay now grants unobstructed views into the high bay. This transition signifies a shift towards increased space and capacity for the production process. With the mid-bay no longer in place, attention is now directed toward the promising prospects offered by the Star Factory expansion. As the production site evolves, observers eagerly await the unveiling of the Starship Factory's enhanced capabilities and the potential it holds for accelerating Starship construction and development. Right next to it, the workers are currently expanding and installing cladding on the new mega bay to make the building fully operational. Of course, it still requires a roof and necessary bridge cranes, but once completed, SpaceX will have a sleek and functional new facility. All the necessary conditions for the second launch of Starship have been fulfilled. We're now just waiting the results of the FAA investigation after reviewing SpaceX's damage report from the initial launch. Hopefully, things aren't too delayed. Regardless, SpaceX is no stranger to this situation. They possess the capability to handle unexpected circumstances, as evidenced by the way Falcon 9, now one of the busiest vehicles in the world, stands as a testament to SpaceX's persistent launch efforts. Their ultimate goal is to achieve regular orbital launches with Starship rockets. Currently, SpaceX is poised to lay the foundational brick towards realizing this ambition. And that's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments below. Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.